my name is Titi Layo, Karimo Chobukola. I'm in Los. I live in the United States. And I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm the senior sister to Mobad's wife. We are just three, two, um, two girls and you know a boy. So we have a young, we have a broad, we have a how do I say? It? So my sister is the last born of the family, and she's a wife. Um, she's she's Mobad's wife. They got married on a low key, you know, just because we want to respect Mobad's. My sister couldn't post pictures. We couldn't celebrate the way we want, just because we understand what he's going through. And he's doing this because he doesn't want to expose his family. That is why he's doing this. He doesn't want to expose his, expose his wife and his son. So right now, my sister cannot talk. She's grieving. And and we are just trying to be here for her so she can, you know, so she can stay strong. Please bear with us. We are seeing your donations every day. We are seeing it. We will not, we will not, how do I put that? We will not deny that we are seeing it. Thank you to all Nigerians. And as from the donations, thank you for the support. That was huge. We hold you guys for that. Thank you for the support. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Nigerians. But right now, I'm so surprised about what is going on. I am so surprised. Before, the night... Okay, sorry, sorry. The night, on Tuesday night, it was as if I should jump from my phone and get to Nigeria immediately. I beg. I begged them. I was on the phone from from 8 p.m. to like 2 a.m. Bus Revolution. I was on Bus Revolution and WhatsApp called from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Begging and begging. Do autopsy. Do autopsy. Don't go and bury him this midnight. They wanted to bury him in the midnight. Don't bury him this night. He deserves a befitting barrier. I pleaded. My sister pleaded. No one listened to us. I said, okay, if that be the case, let's bury him at Lake Cemetery. Let's not go and bury him just anywhere. They didn't listen. My wife, my sister did not have a say. No one listened. At least he, he, she had a son for them now. They didn't listen. They didn't listen to my sister. I asked them. I asked my family to give the phone to them so, so I can talk. I don't want to mention him. That's why I'm saying them. I don't want to mention him. Give the phone to them. I'm coming home. At least before I get home, let's do this. Why do, why do we have to bury him in the first place? Why are we so much in a hurry to bury him? I had that question so many times, no response from them. Why do we have to bury him at 12 a.m. midnight? No response. Everybody, every, they had to like fight them. I said, no, even if you want to bury him, not this midnight. Not this midnight. When when it was getting to when it was getting into into chaos, that was when they decided and said, okay, we will bury me in, in the morning. In the morning, as early as eight o'clock, they took they took him to the, the morgue. Around that two a.m., they took him to the morgue. As early as eight o'clock, they got there again to go and get him out and bury him. Why do we have to bury him this early? They didn't listen. They, did, they bury him with the cheapest clothes in the market. They cut that clothes, China. A yard of that clothes should be around. If I'm not mistaken, I, I, I used to, I, have, I own a shop. Before I travel, I used to sell clothes. 
The last time I saw that cloth at my store was 100 Naira per yard, and that was 2000 and, 2014, 100 Naira. So right now, people that know that material, China, per yard should be around 500 Naira. That was the cloth they bought and buried in. I cried on my way to the airport. I cried terribly, but there is nothing I could do. Right now, all the allegations about land, there is no land anywhere. There is no property anywhere. Like I said, and I'll repeat it again, that land that they buried Mubad on, that land that they buried Mubad on, I was the one that wanted to buy that land. But I wanted someone close, something closer to the, by the side of the road. I said I don't want it. My mom advised Mubad to start having properties as, aside from the land in uh, the house in, in Lekki. That was why my mom was involved in the first place. He advised him to start putting his money towards property. My sister does not have a car. He, she doesn't have a car, she doesn't have a shop, and she doesn't have a job as we speak. She's a stay home mom. I was advising her this, that morning that Mobad died. That, I said, Your son is now five months old now. You need to go back to, you need to get something to do and start working. Don't be a stay home mom. Look at me. I'm still, I, I have a husband, but I'm still working. He said, My husband said, after my son is a year old after his one year old birthday i would get something doing i said if it's if it was your husband's wish respect your husband but have it at the back of your mind you are not going to be a stay home mom he said i know thank you my sister i asked after mobad he said she said mobad is sleeping i wanted to greet him for his son's five months birthday I was expecting her to call me back if Mubad wake up so I can wish him wish him happy birthday, wish him of uh, his son's um five months, you know, five month old. They they had plans to celebrate his, the child five month old. Um they wanted to do a celebration for the five month old that day. They wanted to celebrate before that incident happened. So when I turned out the land, my mom Introduce, sorry, go and get something from the kitchen. My mom introduced the land to Mobad. Mobad bought the land. Okay. During the purchase, the, my mom did not receive cash. Go get it, go get it. My mom did not receive cash. Mobad has people that manage his property, his account. I'm sorry, please bear with me if I'm not using the right words. My mom, Mobad made payment through yeah it's okay go mobile made payment through the people are um in charge of his accounts he didn't give cash to my mom thank god my mom advised mobile to get a land what if he didn't get that land they would just just and bury him in one useless cemetery if Mo, that Mo, that land we, that land was purchased this year. The land papers were in process. They haven't finished the purchase of the. They haven't finished the pro, the papers of the land. They came. I'm going to keep using. They came. They came. But you guys will understand. They came to my mom and said they wanted the 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 what is called the document for the land. My mom said the documents are still in process. They, they fought my mom and said they want the documents. So my mom re released the documents. They, they took the land even before Mobad died. The la it is okay for Mobad to give them land. It is okay, but not forcefully. At least willingly to release it, not forcefully. That was why they have access to go there, directly to go and bury him there. Because they forcefully took that land from him, and they forcefully took the papers from my mom. We, we are trying not to come out and talk, because mo the disease doesn't like drama. 
Mm. That's why I don't post him. If you go back to my page, I don't post him on my page. He doesn't want drama. He is trying to protect his family. But if we keep quiet, it was it would be as if we have something we are hiding. My sister is not in the right state of mind now. I might I I went out today. I just came back. I had to go and get some baby items for Liam. They have not called my sister since Mobad died to check to check on Liam. Mama has been calling. I would say Mama has called like one million times. We, we visited Mama yesterday so Mama can see Mo, Liam. We pitied Mama and we said, Mama, you need, Mama wanted to see Liam and my sister. So we had to drive down to Mama's house yesterday so she can see Liam and my sister. We spent some time with Mama. I gave Mama some cash before I left because I know Mama we need cash. I'm not saying this to, I'm not saying this to gain anything. So that you guys can know mama mama the situation of mama that's why i'm seeing mm. this so mm. we left there we came back home they have not called my sister since they buried mobile they have not asked of liam since they buried liam but they, they have time to grant interviews we we are just keeping quiet me i'm so surprised I'm so surprised about what is going on. Because we as a family, we don't need this now. We need to be one. So that, so that those people in question can be brought to books. But if they see us fighting, how we judgment prevail? How? I just came back now. I just came back. You can see me dressed up. I just came back from the store because... For about some days, my sister couldn't breastfeed Liam. I advised my sister to do exclusive breastfeeding. And after, and during the, uh, during the, uh, during, so since the disease passed and the barrier, she couldn't, she couldn't breastfeed Liam. So we had to buy a formula for Liam. I just went to the, I just went to the store because I wanted to buy Liam some um, some formula and some things needed in the house. I just came back. I was, I couldn't expect what I'm seeing online. This is so sad. This is so sad. Everything that is out there, it is rubbish. Because I, I myself don't even have enough information. The person that has enough information, that person decides to come out and talk. A lot of people will be arrested, but we, we are ju I just decided to come out because Nigerians need to know what is going on. We are not just keeping quiet. We are seeing all your efforts, and my sister truly appreciates it. But she, she said she doesn't want to do something that will hurt Mobad because she knew Mobad is a quiet person. So that's why I've been, you know posting and updating you guys on our behalf. Right now, my sister's safety, myself, and the rest of the family safety is the priority right now. Nothing must happen to my sister. Nothing must happen to me, and nothing must happen to my mom and my brother, and the, the whole family, the wife's family. And I'm going to clarify the voice notes. The alleged voice note that was posted where Mubad said his wife was going to kill him. My sister was the one that recorded that, that, that voice note. Because Mubad would deny and say, I did not say that after. He, you know, after some, he, he has some memory loss at some point. The FDLEA hits him with a gun on his head. So he has some episode of memory loss. My sister said, after he said, my sister wants to kill him or not, my sister said he's done with him. So my, so my sister recorded him. 
So she can play those voice notes for him later. It's so sad. It is so sad. So that day, that day, he was begging my sister. My sister said, no, she's done. He had to call my, my mom's junior sister to, call, to come to the house to come and beg on his behalf. So my mom junior sister came and begged my sister. My sister stayed and said, okay, she has had him. My sister was scared. She, she, she used... She during that during that recording, she used a, a French phone to record that voice note. This is a lesson for Nigerians as well. Do not trust anyone. Do not trust anyone. That voice note, she used a French phone to record that voice note at the time. She didn't use her own phone. Her friend was her friend was recording so that mobile we do not know. So she can play it for Mobad later. So now the friend, another friend, another friend who is a girlfriend of Mobad friend, took that voice note from that friend. It wasn't the friend that recorded. The friend's name is Cynthia. It wasn't Cynthia that leaked the voice note. It was another friend that took the voice note from Cynthia's phone. Gave it to her husband who was Mobad's friend. So that voice note leaked from that friend that took the voice note from the from Cynthia. Who is you know, my sister's name is also Cynthia, so it's true Cynthia now. The third friend took the voice note from Cynthia, who is my sister's friend's phone, and leaked the voice note now to use it against my sister. It is so sad. So after that, after my my mom's si junior sister left, I swear to God, I'm a Celestian. I swear to God, Baba Oshofa is my witness. Mobad and my sister called me and said they needed my help because I was a nurse. He said he is having some memory loss. He said he couldn't remember his own lyrics again. He said, Auntie Ori Toje Mini Mokomi, Auntie Ori Mimo. And if you could remember, his boss mentioned this thing that he's having some memory loss. Those memory loss was not from addiction. It was, I'm not saying he doesn't smoke. Don't get, don't misquote me, please. It was not because of his, uh, it, it wasn't because he's an addict. He was never an addict. He was labeled wrongfully. That's why he didn't get the help he needed. So when they called me, everything I said that they're going to say, it, everyone bear me witness, Papa or Shopper bear me witness. I said, you guys need to go to Arrow. I said, not all, not all mad people. Mentor the real people, not all of them go to Haro. See, they are dealing with memory loss. It is a psychiatric hospital. You going in there doesn't mean you are, you are a psychiatric patient. But they have, excuse me, them. They have, how do I put it? They have people there. They, they have people that will treat you there, that specialize in such areas, they have specialists that will be able to deal with you there. I said, ignore that name, Arrow. Ignore the name, Arrow. Go there for treatment. I don't know anywhere in Nigeria that I can rub men. Mobad said, I don't want Nigerians to see me as Arrow. They will believe that I have psychological problems. I uh. said, so what do we do now? I said, the next option is for you to come to us come to us i will help you help you with anything you need medically he showed me tons of medications that they prescribed for him even the ones he is not supposed to be taking i i had to tell him to get off some of the medication and take some that 
I think it can take. And I said, who, I said, are you just treating yourself at home or you go to, were you seen by a doctor or you are just doing self-medication? He said he was seen by a doctor. I said that. And I was expecting to get back to me that he will come to United States. Shortly after that, himself and his wife got back to me and said he's getting better. That night, I now said, among me, oh, le fissile sin, only memory loss. It's, uh, it's been, it's only memory loss. Oh, forget, I won't come. Just to your long, 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 fissile. Oh, no, implicate, oh, no, 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 Someone your barring for who will save and will be a master of whom we will take back. Munipo job could do what see. Oh, they look to go. Mobile desk of that TSA. I would try my best if I can still have that conversation. I just changed my phone. I have a new phone. So, salute the local room. Come back. My shelly. Your mama keep record. Bang. Oh, my God. Keep record. See. A lot is going on, but there's little we can say. But if they don't stop, <laughs> if they don't stop, the person that know the, knows everything, we come out and stop. Just two months ago, they received a vehicle of 5.5 million naira from Obama. They were trying to deliver that vehicle to them. They said, it doesn't have plate number that they will not receive it until when they put plate number. They have to take that vehicle back to mobile go and put plate number. They took that vehicle to them again with plate number. They said they have to put gas. I mean petrol. We call it gas over there. They said they have to put petrol in it before they collect it. They called and my sister said, please, I do have right pussy. They put them off. Just two months ago, the vehicle was purchased in Ikorodu. When we were going to Grandma's house yesterday to visit Grandma with Liam, they showed me that place that they purchased that vehicle. Just two months ago, about two, three months ago, they purchased that vehicle and gave them new vehicle, 5.5 million. That was the amount they purchased that vehicle. When when he, when my sister delivered Liam, Mobad wanted to give her a car as a gift. My sister said me, Fekoto, check out my Raile, Kamani property, Mara Moto. A bro, my Moto to wow. So, Moto traffic, they lost so door, Yao Fela, no, at Liam, a minimum. But she get motor traffic below. Koni private cow. Koni motor. Who bala a bro me beki view? He let go. Oh, what you have for free a motor? Look, the issue of when we want to come on five months old. See, let. Oh, you know, God, you know, but more you got to mass. Oh, you know, only for request. Oh, they are property. No, you know, you know. How do we even got here in the first place? Because this is not necessary. That was why they purchased those land in Liam's name. Thank God my sister did not collect that vehicle. Thank God she did not collect that vehicle. ten years ago. Mobile on the post the picture three threat to life you know you know how painful mm. it is for you to do a wedding and not be able to flaunt your wedding not be able to put pictures about your wedding just because you want to respect your brand's wish and just because you know your husband is in danger mm. just because you know your husband is in danger that's why you guys that's why some people are saying girlfriend baby mama I've been because no So now, see two acres, you can't become. See two acres, but one become. 
Mobadi kusoni only wa wa wiyo. Kosi tu e kasi kokon bikon. Ile tude wa ambi kokon o wuko li am lo am de. And he purchased those land after my sister gave birth to Liam. That was why Liam's name is there. My sister did not want to talk because Kofeki, Kofeki, oh my, you talk with Jeff. And I'm only saying this because in Kote, me no more fine. Shugmati mba nike nito mo oro gongon soro bi won she treat in liyam e mbaj liyam oko mi oni oni ri wala bo she treat in mo mbaj e mo ke won treat e mbaj nile won tun treat e mbaj nita mi i don't know any i don't want to say anything in nipa ita bo nile e ba wa sofa won iti le mama mo mbaj o she wow mama mo mbaj o da wala she can call us a million times a day. They have not called my sister since Mobad died. They have not asked of Liam since Mobad died. I will ask my sister, did they call you? Did they check after you? Did they ask about Liam? She said no. But Mama can call one million times a day. Mama can do that. Mama is going to come out. Mama is the quiet type too. I don't know Mama. I'm seeing Mama for the first time. I only saw her on video calls. I saw Mama on video calls. So I met her in person for the first time today. So right now, the safety of my sister and the safety of the wife family, please Nigerians, nothing must happen to us. Nothing must happen to us, please. At this point, why seeking justice? Please, nothing must happen to us. Tell them, tell them, because all those allegations are scary. They are not just mere allegations. Physically and spiritually, nothing must happen to us. You need to see the gra you need to see my sister, but I forgot mm. when you're long no one. And I want to clarify something again. I f I was the one that fight for my mom. I was the one that brought my mom to the United States. My husband was the one that purchased her traveling ticket, not to go bad. Mobad did not know anything about her traveling, but our wife just keep updating him that mom will be traveling soon. Mom will be traveling soon. And I posted a video when when my mom, you, you, if you go to my my page on Facebook, Mobad and my mom was holding each other. That time my mom was trying to hold Mobad and said, Do me the way, little ni monology. Ma ba mo mo mi cha you won no she suru mo mi ma ba mo mi no so amo ba se mo mi aburo mi ni o mo mi a le cha e fo kon ba lo e ma lo that was the conversation they were having when they held on to each other so please safety first safety was the priority every other thing i follow long the work Mm. Um okay my sister okay my sister um Ababa Soro Hello sir I'm with yeah. you sir. Yeah. um like I said let us see how this develops i switched off the comments uh, check your dm you can't hear me check your dm i can't hear you uh, check your dm your dm your dm uh message message i'm, I'm typing a message to you okay. 
I'm typing a message to you. Wow. That was a whole lot. Um, uh, in the spirit of fairness, I like to hear from both sides of the family. You know how we do here on Daddy Freeze Live. We always try to be as fair as possible. Thank you all of you who've been supporting on TikTok. If you're watching on TikTok, please double click the screen. Uh, let's get the video out to more people.